Hi friends, Amber from Sustainable Jungle here, where we share sustainability tips, tricks, hacks, products, brands, and stories to better our planet. Our daily habits and products are all part of what make up each of our own unique approaches to sustainable living. And for many, that includes makeup. Whether you're a minimal makeup kind of person like I usually am, or love going all out and getting glam, we could all stand to be a little bit more conscious about what we're spreading on our skin on the daily. You see, unsustainable makeup isn't just bad for our planet, as in literal tons of plastic packaging, animal testing, unethical and unsustainable ingredient harvesting, but it's also bad for you. In fact, the average woman exposes herself to a whopping 168 chemicals every single day by way of beauty products. And many of these fall on our list of ingredients to avoid in skincare and cosmetics, which we're going to link below so you can familiarize yourself with some of the most toxic things to steer clear of when scanning ingredient lists. Instead, we want to see organic, natural, and plant-based cosmetic ingredients things like plant pigment extracts, coconut oil, and aloe vera. We prefer vegan products on the whole, but we do make a few exceptions for animal byproducts like honey and beeswax. In other words, things that can be ethically harvested without actually harming the creature that made it. But we have an absolute zero tolerance policy for animal testing, and that includes both the finished product and the ingredients that went into the finished product. So that's a really important distinction, because just because a brand says their products are cruelty-free doesn't mean they necessarily source from cruelty-free suppliers, so you want to look for both. Minerals like titanium dioxide and iron oxides are okay too, especially for cosmetic that have color to them. This is often where you get your tints, but you do want to be sure that these are non-nano in size because nanoparticles can be absorbed into the skin barrier and we still don't really know the effects that that has on the human body. But we also do want to make sure that these are ethically sourced and this is especially important when it comes to mica, aka the stuff that makes your makeup shimmery. Mica sourcing is heavily associated with child labor, so we always look for child labor free mica suppliers. And we'll pop a link below to a short video that we did specifically on this topic if you want to learn more. But beyond anything, we don't want makeup brands that conceal anything but our pimples, so transparency of ingredients and sourcing is super, super important. As for packaging, we understand that completely plastic free packaging can be tricky to find for certain types of cosmetics. But honestly, anything that reduces the beauty industry's annual output of 120 billion, with a B, units of plastic is better than nothing. Now the best brands are going to use compostable or refillable packaging, think bamboo compacts and compostable cardboard tubes, but brands need to at least offer packaging that's recyclable and ideally also made with recycled plastic if they are going to use it. Now that's our tutorial on how to choose eco-friendly makeup. Not to apply it, because trust me, nobody wants a tutorial on that from me. But now let's talk about some beauty brands that tick all of these boxes for us. Let's start by dabbling into the world of Dabberb, a small makeup brand with over 68,000 highly rated sales on Etsy alone. Why the popularity? Because they use purely certified organic ingredients like vegetable pigments and plant extracts to create a massive range that includes everything from some of our favorite eyeshadow creams to zero waste mascara to foundations and so much more. And all of it is formulated without parabens, sulfates, and synthetic dyes or fragrances. They're pretty light on minerals as well, but they do use some mineral pigments in certain products, and they source exclusively from ethical suppliers like their Mica supplier, who's a member of the Responsible Mica Initiative. Now we've tested a pretty wide range of all their basic cosmetic products, and we really can't speak highly enough about them. One of our favorites is their herb lip paint partially because it comes in these gorgeous, sturdy bamboo tubes, and partially because it looks and feels great. I'm wearing it right now. So too often lipsticks leave your lips feeling dry and sticky and chap them over time. But thanks to nourishing ingredients like unrefined avocado and hemp seed oils, which are the first two ingredients, by the way, these lip paints moisturize as much as they colorize, which lead to overall lip health. Oh, and they're totally edible, so while we don't recommend them for a midday snack, they certainly won't hurt when you accidentally get some on your teeth. Now, note that these are not completely plastic free because there is a little plastic lining tube inside the bamboo case, which we don't love. However, when we realize that most sustainable lipsticks are still gonna have a little bit of plastic and then compare it to how much plastic is in a traditional tube, we think this is great. It's a huge reduction in overall plastic. We're also big fans of their cream eyeshadows, not only because the palette here is reusable and refillable by these little magnetic color pots, which you can either dump over and tip out, um, you do have to bang it a little bit, or you can just take something like a toothpick and pen and pop it through the little hole in the bottom and pop out the little color tin when it's empty and replace it with something new. But we also love how they perform as well. They go on really light and smooth, so if you don't want a really bold color, these are great because it'll add just a little bit of tint, which of course you can layer if you do want something that's a little bit more bold. And we like it because it goes on smooth and it also lasts all day long. That's pretty rare for eyeshadow. And because it's a cream one, it kind of stays down here. It's not like powders that get those crease lines and look really bad by noon. <laughs> 
Now we did mention that there's a little bit of plastic in the herb lip paint tubes, but for the most part, Dab Herb is what we consider a zero waste makeup brand. That means that their products either come in compostable product packaging, refillable palettes, or reusable glass, like any of their concealers like this. Next, for a makeup company that is quite literally zero waste, we have Axiology. That's because in addition to being vegan, cruelty-free, and 100% natural, their products come packaged in just paper and cardboard, which means everything is compostable. Now, their products take two different forms. First, we have paper-wrapped crayons in the form of their three-in-one balmies, like this right here. And we have cardboard push-up tubes like this here, and you're gonna find these with their shape sticks, multi-sticks, and lip balm. What's also great about Axiology is that most of these products are designed to have multiple uses. So if you have a cluttered vanity and you wanna keep things simple, Axiology is the brand for you. Plus, we're always all for multiple use products because it means you have to buy fewer things, which is just more sustainable overall. For instance, the lip to lid balmies are designed for lip to lid use, and it can also be used on the cheeks, but that obviously doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And similarly, their multi sticks can be used on the lips, cheek, and eyes. And the shape sticks are great for not only contouring, but excellent as a spot cover up for those sudden outbreaks or annoying pimples that get really angry halfway through the day. And if you're a little cosmetically challenged as I am, you'll likely be happy to know that the contouring with these is really easy. So contouring is something I struggle with. I don't really do it because I don't understand it, but these shape sticks provide a super creamy and easily blendable color that adds just a little bit of subtle shape and highlights the cheekbones to your face. And I love that. Plus, we feel good putting on all of these because we know that instead of putting on harsh chemicals, we're exposing our skin to only the safest organic oils, butters, and antioxidant-rich ingredients. And as a finishing touch, Axiology donates part of their proceeds to animal welfare organizations and sources their cardboard boxes from a Bally Women's Co-op that focuses on female employment and empowerment. Next, we have Terrastoma, which is a woman and Latinx-founded company that we just adore because of their gorgeous, gender-neutral, affordable, and diverse skin tone-friendly products. In fact, the brand was born out of a desire to celebrate the unique and natural beauty within us by challenging exclusionary perceptions in the beauty industry. If we had to describe their range in a few words, it would be Gaia Gets Glam. So think earthy tones with a little bit of metallic sparkle, like in their gorgeous eye potions. I love the Copal shade, by the way. Uh, and these have some of the most vibrant ethereal shades that we've ever seen in eyeshadow. But rest assured, that eye-catching shimmer is thanks to mica that's free of heavy metals and sourced from a child labor-free, vegan, and cruelty-free supplier. We've tested a range of their products, including their lipsticks, their eye potions that I mentioned, the mascara, uh, but the Crystal Veil Tinted Skin Elixir is a favorite. It's a nutrient-packed combination of skincare and refillable foundation with ingredients like sun protective zinc oxide, meadow foam seed oil, and calming aloe vera. So it's going to smooth and even the skin as well as balance and strengthening the lipid barrier over time. We love how it goes on super light and blurs any big pores or big blemishes on the skin, but leaves us with a dewy finish that doesn't look at all like those really horrible cakey foundations. Now, in addition to being cruelty-free, vegan, and all natural, many of their products are refillable, which you can do by emailing the brand. And if they're not, they're going to come in some form of compostable cardboard packaging, like these multi-purpose beauty sticks. Packaging also includes bamboo caps, silicone applicator brushes, and labels made of 50% hemp pulp and 50% post-consumer waste. While some items, like their eye potions, do contain a little bit of plastic in the bamboo cap, same thing with their lipsticks, um, you can separate each component to compost or recycle them independently if you choose not to refill them. You can also pay a plastic tax for any plastic components by choosing an organization for them to donate to on your behalf when you check out. The last brand we want to talk about today is 100% Pure, and if that name doesn't tell you why they're on our list, allow us to. First, they use only biodegradable and natural ingredients, which they clearly define as an ingredient or formula composed of plant, mineral, and marine vegetation that undergoes chemical changes due to biological processes, such as fermentation, distillation, and cold processing. While they do use some palm oil, it's always sustainably sourced, and you'll never find byproducts or ingredients that have been tested on animals. And if you come across an ingredient on the label that you're not quite sure what it is, they have a comprehensive ingredient and glossary of everything that they use on their website, so they'll tell you what it is and why it's beneficial for the skin. Their line of makeup is trademarked under the registered name Fruit Pigmented because that's exactly what it is. It's colored with plant extracts and minerals rather than synthetic dyes and toxic chemicals. So it's gonna include things like lip gloss, eyeliner pencils, pressed powder blush, uh, mascara, and that's just on the makeup side of things. They also have a huge range of plant-based hair care and skincare products that we've also tested and loved 
but we won't get too much into those today. They're even one of the few brands selling naturally pigmented and non-toxic nail polish. These formulas are 20 free, which means they're free of 20 of the most common toxic chemicals and heavy metals used in nail polish. And 20 is actually one of the highest numbers of non-toxic nail polish brands that we've ever found. Now for cosmetics, I adore their Maracuja Mascara. So as I mentioned, I'm pretty minimal on makeup most days, but mascara is one of my go-tos. It's such an easy way to draw a little bit of attention to the eyes without much effort. And I love that their brushes are super smooth, they go on without any clumps to brush out. And green tea extract is gonna be the first ingredient that you'll find in here, which is rich in antioxidants to protect the eye skin and lashes. And then you also have things like seaweed extract and the maracuja oil of the title, which provide essential nutrients and fatty acids to encourage lash growth. Its color comes from pigments like tea, cocoa, and coffee, instead of carcinogenic carbon black, as most conventional mascara contains. Which, by the way, has an EWG Skin Deep database rating of 10 on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the most toxic for you. I often like to pair this with their FSC certified wooden eyeliner pencils, both of which are super portable, and I can toss in even a small purse if I just need to do any touch-ups on the go. Now, you will notice that there's gonna be a little bit of plastic used in some of the products, like in the twist mechanism liner of their lipstick tubes, but by this year, they've pledged to have any plastic be post-consumer recycled, and they've already reduced their total plastic packaging by 75% in favor of these sleek and durable aluminum tubes and compacts, glass, and cardboard, you name it. Now, if you do happen to have a 100% pure location near you, you can recycle any container there and get a free trial size product in exchange. They're also aiming to be climate positive this year, use biodegradable shipping materials, operate from a green business certified headquarters, plant hundreds of thousands of trees with trees for the future, have donated countless bowls of dog food for shelter dogs, along with so many other charitable initiatives. They really do it all. That's all the brands that we have for you today, but I'll add links to a bunch more eco-cosmetic info articles in the list below, and please let us know about your favorite sustainable makeup brands too by dropping a note in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and if a more sustainable beauty routine is your thing, or most sustainable living in general, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and all the buttons for more eco-minded content. I'm Amber from SJ, wishing you all a beautiful day.